Good morning. Hope everybody's good. It's 3.46, just past the um, witching hour. Been up since 3.20. Woke up early, man. Uh, I was having crazy dreams. I dreamed about my uncle, my dad's brother, Tyrone. <clears throat> um, haven't seen him in a long time. Uh... So I need to probably go see him. He's getting up there in age. He's probably in his 70s by now. It's probably been five, six years since I've seen him. So I've got to do that. Um, it's because he's popping up in my dreams now. So got to see what's up with that. See how he's doing. And uh, hopefully he's doing good. So I was just flopping around thinking I couldn't fall back asleep. So I felt like I got enough sleep. Obviously I got enough sleep because I was dreaming. I got into the REM, mo REM mode. That when you're dreaming I guess your body's had enough sleep. And your brain kind of just wakes up by itself while your body stays asleep. And starts creating uh, memories, I guess, all on its own. Your brain takes the experiences you have and creates its own little world, it seems like. Hmm, thought I heard something. But I'm feeling really good today. Um, I was going to go for a run yesterday, but I got a little blister on my foot starting from my new shoes. And I'm not, I'm not going to want to have that. That'll slow me down for a while if I continue to do that. Oh, boy. This world, I'm telling you. It's just insane. It is, man. It's just, the world is, it's a free-for-all, man. It's just like anything goes, man, these days. Anything goes. All these agendas going on, all these narratives pushed by people with money, you know, a lot of behind-the-scenes bullshit going on. Tribes, all these tribes. You got people just judging people because of their skin color, you know, which is just bullshit, you know. People are people. You could take any human, doesn't matter what color, and you could take a man from, you could take a black man, and you can go get. A freaking Asian or a white girl and they can mate and make a baby okay you could take a white man and breed it with any color person and it, it can make a baby because they're humans right we're humans we can all make we have the same deal okay genetically our DNA is all the same the only difference is the way we look our, our pigment and our skin but, you know, you can't go breeding with, like, others, like, monkeys and shit and make babies. You can't because they're not humans, okay? But, you know, humans are humans. They make babies. You're in the same species, man. Just different skin colors, okay? Different kind of features. That's it, man. I don't get why... Anybody would judge anybody differently just because of their skin color and the minor differences and features 
and where they they happen their ancestry came from. We all came from the same. When you really go back, we all came from Africa. From what I'm gathering, we, us humans evolved from Africa. So, you know, this whole thing about we were here first in America, the Native Americans and the Latins and shit. Yeah, yeah, but you weren't always here. This we all came from the same place. And it started in Africa. Okay, we evolved from monkeys that were in Africa. You know, the animals were here first. So we all immigrated, right? And then, you know, eventually the English came here, right? Took over. And then that's how America started. The big melting pot, right? They just pretty much ironed out all the bullshit, right? All the all the things that separated us, all the slavery bullshit. You know, we're all still slaves. You know, us working stiffs. We're slaves to the rich. That's the way I see it, you know? Until I start my own business, I'm a slave to the to the higher ups, you know, a slave to the machine, you know, and that's cool. As long as I'm happy, you know, take it day by day, as long as whatever I'm doing, I'm happy for the most part. I'm cool with it, man. I don't have to have a Ferrari. I don't have to have a mansion. I don't have to be able to take any other human out to an expensive restaurant. I don't need that. That's not going to make me happy. You know, if I have a, a chick I want to take somewhere out, I want the kind of chick that will be happy taking a ride in my truck and going to whatever happens to be my favorite restaurant or maybe her favorite restaurant that I can afford. I want a chick that can be happy with that. I don't want a chick that is going to want me to take her to some place that's out of my budget. That's not the kind of woman I want. You know? And if I have a friend that makes more money than me and he wants to go to a fancy restaurant, well, you know what? He can buy my dinner for me then, right? If he wants to go there, hey, I can't afford this, bro. You know, that's the kind of bro I want. That understands that I don't have the money that he probably doesn't have. So, and if he wants to go to a fancy restaurant, the kind of people I want in my life are the ones that will help me out if we happen to go to a restaurant like that. And they're cool with that. And I'm cool with it, you know. But I don't expect anybody to take me to a fancy restaurant. I'm just saying. I only have people in my life that are acceptable to me. And that's probably why I'm alone most of the time because there's just I just haven't met a lot of people that I would approve of that I can handle being in my life. I, I, I just need honest people that actually care about themselves and care about their friends, me. You know, because I'm the kind of guy where if I have a friend or a girlfriend, I care about them. You know, I, I genuinely, genuinely care about my people. You know, and I don't have a lot of friends, man. I don't because a lot of people that I've had in my life in the past, there's something about them that didn't jive with me to where I'd want to keep them as a close friend. There's either they're too needy and they're, they're, they're causing me issues or they have a personality, something about their personality. I don't trust them. Something, you know, there's something. So I have, I hardly have any friends, man. I mean, I have like one really close friend that is actually in my life that we actually go out and do things. That's the buff alien. Okay. I have a lot of other friends, but more friends online than I do in person, you know, and I'm, I'm pretty sure a couple of them, at least a handful of them friends I have online, if we happen to be close enough to where we were could hang out in person, they would probably be 
close friends I could trust, okay? But the way we are today, most of my friends live in other states, clear across the country. I even have friends across the planet in Australia. And you know what? That friend I have over there, I'll just say his name, Sammy. This dude in Australia would be the kind of guy that I could trust to be a, a, a friend, you know, like. So it's not like when I was a kid when I had a bunch of school buddies around, you know. And you know what? When I had those kind of friends, half of them motherfuckers ripped me off, you know, or or, or tried to nail my girlfriend or something, you know. Or, you know, we had a disagreement or we got, you know, something falling out. So, you know, the older you get, or at least I speak for myself, the older I get, the less friends I have because I'm more privy to people now. I under I, I'm, I can spot defects and, and things about people that I don't like a lot more, a lot easier now, you know, because I'm more wise now than I was when I was younger. And, um, you know, there's this thing, there's this bullshit, there's narrative going on these days. There are a lot of ignorant people out there. A lot of racist, ignorant people out there these days that are on board with this narrative about the white man, the white man. The white man is the devil. White man is the problem, right? White privilege. We got white privilege because we're white, right? We happen to be white, so we're privileged. It's the, the biggest bullshit fucking narrative going on these days that I, I can see, really. You know. You know what? I understand, you know, why they would say that. But at the same time, I think it's bullshit because you can't you can't clump everybody up in the same category just because they happen to be a certain skin color. That goes for all races. You know, you got to take people on individual basis, okay, regardless of their race. So with that said, I saw this clip yesterday on uh, this channel called Officer Tatum, okay? This guy I watch, he's a black man, really nice guy, okay? I take people individual basis. I don't care what nationality they are. I got friends of all nationalities. I don't blame anybody for nothing because I take them for individual basis. I don't clump anybody together. I will say certain nationalities have certain traits, generally speaking, but you have to take people on an individual basis when it comes to people that you're dealing with, okay? So, I'm watching Officer Tatum yesterday. I just, because you know what, I'll put the link of the video in the description here so he can get a, a view if you want to see this for yourself because I do support him and his channel because he is, he's a, a real thinker and um, he's he's a he's a he's a trooper he's a patriot man and I, I like the guy a lot I watch this shit all the time so anyways I'm watching Officer Tatum and uh, he he did a uh, a, sh a show a video on this kid that I, I was just watching this kid he did a a speech in front of a, a, his classmates or something and a bunch of parents. And um, it it just, was, it made me disgusted, man. It, it disgusted me, like made me ill, ill to my stomach. But I want you to hear this, man. It's, it's, it's just ridiculous, dude, like for real. So I'm going to play this thing for you, okay? It's just a couple of few minutes long. So listen to this shit, man. So this is a kid, I think he's probably like maybe 13 or 14, and this is a poem that he wrote, a white privilege poem, 
Okay, this is a white boy. Okay. My name is Grace, and my poem is titled White Boy Privilege. Dear women, I'm sorry. Dear black people, I'm sorry. White women, I'm better than you. Black people, I'm better than you. That's dear good. Asian Americans, dear Native Americans, dear immigrants who come here seeking a better life, I'm sorry. Dear everyone who isn't a middle or upper class white boy, I'm sorry. I have started life at the top of a ladder when you were born on the first drum. I say now that I would change places with you in an instant, but if given the opportunity, would I? Probably not, because to be honest, being privileged is awesome. I'm not saying that you and me on different rungs of the ladder is how I want it to stay. I'm not saying that any part of me has for a moment even liked it that way. I'm just saying that I love being privileged and I'm not ready to give that away. I love it because I can say fucking and not one of you is attributing that to the fact that everyone of my skin color has a dirty mouth. I love it because I don't have to spend an hour every morning putting on makeup to meet other people's standards. I love it because I can worry about what kind of food is on my plate instead of whether or not there will be food on my plate. I love it because when I see a police officer, I see someone who's on my side. <clears throat> to be honest, I'm scared of what it would be like if I wasn't on the top rung, if the tables were turned and I didn't have my white boy privilege safety blanket to protect me. If I lived a life lit by what I lack, not what I have, if I lived a life in which when I failed, the world would say, told you so. If I lived the life that you live. When I was born, I had a success story already written for me. You, you were given a pen and no paper. I've always felt that that's unfair, but I've never dared to speak up because I've been too scared. Well, now I realize that there's enough blankie to be shared. Everyone should have the privileges that I have. In fact, they should be right instead. Everyone's story should be written, so all they have to do is get it read. Enough said. No, not enough said. It is embarrassing that we still live in a world in which we judge another person's character by the size of their paycheck, the color of their skin, or the type of chromosomes they have. You just did it. You just did it. You just did all the stuff that you said. I, I like y'all. Y'all gotta understand. Like I, I'm like I'm kind of infuriated. It's hard for me to let him finish. I'm gonna let him finish though, real quick. He just did every single stereotypical thing that he claimed that the country is wrong for doing. You just judge every woman and say you have to put makeup on. Not every girl wear makeup and not every woman wear makeup to impress other people. To say you were given a pen, a, a, a pen but no paper. I had my story written out in front of me before. I, so you're assuming that the black kids that are sitting in this room don't have a future. And then he says, or well, police officers that out there, and there, I know are on my side. What? Half of the police officers in Atlanta are black. What are we talking about? Yep. They look just like the community they, that, that they patrol in. What are you even saying? So you're assuming that every black person have mm. a bad relationship with a cop, that they don't feel represented, and that every black person can't feel represented if the person ain't the same color. We, we don't have the capacity to love cops that ain't black. But my one of my favorite people in the world just retired, Sean Payne. I, I'll give him a shout out. Sean Payne. He was the reason I became a cop. White dude. Gave me a ride along. One of the greatest men that I've ever met in my life. Shout out to him on his retirement. He white. Oh, oh, I forgot I'm black, so I'm supposed to not identify with him. That's what that's what white privilege teaches them to be racist. Yep. It is embarrassing that we tell our kids that it is not their personality, but instead those same chromosomes that get to dictate what color clothes they wear, now short they must cut their hair. But most of all, it is embarrassing that we deny this, that we claim to live in an equal country in an equal world. We say that women can vote. Well, guess what? They can run a country, own a company, and throw a nasty curveball as well. We just don't give them the chance to. I know it wasn't us eighth grade white boys who created this system, but we profit from it every day. We don't notice these privileges though because they don't come in the form of things we gain, but rather the lack of injustices that we endure. Man, look. <laughs> Man, the white boys that went to my school had to pay for school. All of the black kids got scholarships. 
many of us on the football team got scholarships, whether it's D1 or D2. We got scholarships. The white kids that go to the school, they don't have this exceptional ability to play sports to get to college. With no money, no uh, black kids go to college on just athleticism, free ride, all paid for. And white kids like him better get good grades, straight A's, great grades on SAT, or you're going to pay for your college for sure. Back. My SAT, I think it was like a seven something. Free. My parents didn't pay for nothing. But but you got privilege over me. Okay. Because of my gender, I can watch any sport on TV and feel like that could be me one day. Because of my race, I can eat at a fancy restaurant without the wait staff expecting me to steal the silverware. Thanks to my parents' salary, I go to a school that brings my dreams closer instead of pushing them away. Dear white boys, I'm not sorry. I don't care if you think the feminists are taking over the world, that the Black Lives Matter movement has gotten a little too strong because that's bullshit. I get that change can be scary, but equality shouldn't be. Hey, white boys, it's time to act like a woman, to be strong and make a difference. It's time to let go of that fear. It's time to take that ladder and turn it into a bridge. Well, I thought I was cringy. Introducing the silencer cargo. I thought I was cringeworthy. Boy, this kid got me beat. He's going to look at that someday and cringe his ass off. I mean, damn. But the kid's been brainwashed by who the schools probably, you know. I don't know, man. People are people, man. You can't you can't clump them up together. You gotta to take people at an individual basis. As far as equality goes, that's how most people do it. I mean, yeah, there's people that you know tend to uh, favor other people, but that's that's just how it is. I've seen places that are all black employees. I've seen places that are all white. I've seen places that are all Asian employees. That's just how it goes. That doesn't mean anybody else is privileged more than others. I mean, if there's a certain nationality that happens to be a higher percentage that causes crime, you can't put all that on this one individual that happened that does do doesn't do any crime and he happens to be a specific uh race or nationality he has nothing to do with that those group of people that are doing most of the crimes okay you can't only an ignorant person would do that and what that kid right there was saying was completely ignorant and he does not speak for me as a white man. That little white boy, that little ignoramus right there, does not speak for this guy. And it, it just makes me sick to my stomach to think there's a kid that's in eighth grade out there that thinks like that. That thinks he's got, we all have white privilege. <clears throat> you know what? If, if there is such thing as white privilege, I'm still waiting for mine. I'm still waiting for my privilege because you know what? Every single thing... I have, I work for, I paid my dues for my shit. You know, I wasn't, I paid for my place. I paid for all my shit in here, minus this old furniture that came with the place. I paid for it though, okay? I get up, I work every day. I deal with all the bullshit out there in the world so I can have my shit, so I can have food in my belly coffee in my cup you know if you're privileged it's because you you work for your privilege okay it's a privilege to be able to work okay it has nothing to do with skin color okay i work i'm the only white guy on my team i guess i'm privileged though because i'm white huh I'm, I'm so sick of this narrative in this agenda about white privilege it's fucking bullshit and i need it needs to stop you know i see the the people that are flaunting the most money 
in my area happens to be Asians. Why would, why would I care though? You know what? They probably did something to earn it, right? Or they happen to have uh, a connection to get into the money that's circulating around. Why would I hate somebody for that or call them privileged? They happen to do something right. What are you going to do? D turn all the money away or turn down the job, a good paying job? No. You got to take people on an individual basis, man. It, we're all humans, man. We, we're all, why would you want to be have one race, right? I think the variety is great. I like the variety, actually, of different races, personally, you know? And um, this whole privilege thing is bullshit. I mean, there's, there's, it's out there, though. The privilege is out there for all races, actually, if you think about it. There is. You know, but racism's out, racism's out there too, and it always will be, always has been, always will be. And, um, you know, people that are into that, they're ignorant. They're just ignorant. You know, we're all humans, man. That's all there is to it. That's the way I see it, you know. And um, that little guy right there, he's got a lot to learn, man. You know, I'm sure he meant well, but... He doesn't have life experience. And the way what I was listening was sounds like he was programmed. Okay. Like he's been programmed by somebody that has an agenda or the somebody that's racist. That's what it sounded like to me. So he'll probably saw see himself later in life and be pretty cringed out because I was cringing for him. But I just wanted to share that because I was like, oh, my God, man. I'll put the link to the video, Officer Tatum's video, in the description. So, you guys, if you want to watch him, you know, fucking guy, dude. But anyway, uh, today is my Thursday, and it's going to be hot today. And I got one more day tomorrow. It's supposed to be even hotter. We have another heat wave coming. So, uh, it's all good, though, you know. Um, the more sober I get, the more healthy I get, the more fit I get, the, e the easier it is to deal with the heat or whatever happens to come my way because I'm feeling better. So I'm going to get me some breakfast going here and uh, get this day going and just take it one day at a time and hope everything goes well, you know. So uh Thank you for stopping by, and y'all have a great day. We'll catch you later.